Israel was not on my radar when I was growing up. In fact, I didn't even know what the Western Wall was. I was always a high achiever growing up. I was a seeker of wisdom, a seeker of truth. I went to undergrad at Cornell University and did a master's there as well. In between work and law school, I decided I was going to go to Jerusalem to check out my Jewish heritage. I decided to go to Aish in Jerusalem for four weeks. My experience was so profound, I ended up deferring law school for a year, and then another year, and then another year. My mom kept hoping that this was just a passing phase, but now she wouldn't change it for the world. I spent six years in Jerusalem, met my wife Javi, became a rabbi, and ended up on the streets of Los Angeles with a three-month-old. I was a student of Rabbi Noah Weinberg, and I was on fire with the desire to create a spiritual revolution in Los Angeles. I wanted to create a community of people who shared a vision for growth and transformation. Growing up, I was very skeptical and apprehensive about spirituality and its place in my life. I was single, not very focused, a little confused, and then I started taking classes with Rabbi Jacobs. I had my bar mitzvah in Israel. I was in the IDF. I had been to birthright but I was never touched spiritually until my trip to Israel with Rabbi Jacobs. His only desire is to give and to elevate you spiritually. When does that happen? We began in Los Angeles, going to classes, working on ourselves, and then he took us to Israel. Everything expanded from there. My Israel trips are not about checking off boxes and how many sites we see. It's about creating a spiritual experience. He gave us a plan on how to live our lives and be our greatest selves. My strength is to connect to my students, to take the time to really understand them, and then guide them in a process of growth and through major life decisions. When you speak with him, you feel like you are the center of his world, even though he has an endless amount of students. It gives me energy. I want to understand how to elevate people. And getting them to Israel is the first step. When I went to Israel with him, he customized a program for me so I could get answers to my questions. He was a bit of a skeptic, but I was able to understand where he was coming from. Israel opens you up and embraces you. And this time, it was a breakthrough. Jerusalem is the place where everything becomes real. It's alive. I've been in Aish for 14 years, and through my programs, I've sent almost a thousand people to Israel. When we came back from Israel, and I thought I was ready to date, I asked Rabbi Jacobs about Shirin, and his first words were, She's incredible! <laughs> and that just got me. When I returned from Israel, I started keeping Shabbat. That was actually one of the things that Avi was attracted to. It connected us, it opened us up. There were no distractions. We really got to know each other. When Shireen came into Avi's life, it really took off. I am now married to the love of my life. Shireen and I, thanks to Rabbi Jacobs, now have two beautiful children. Being part of Avi and Shireen's growth was a source of incredible joy and satisfaction. I feel like I was created to invest in people and bring out their souls. What keeps me inspired is the beauty of witnessing the spiritual journey in my students.